For Fornado's career, he's one and two, and that's actually not that bad when you look at his ERA, because he's a 2.10 ERA, which is really good. His team isn't giving him what he basically needs. So we're going to switch things up today and go to the bullpen. And something I noticed you have, you know, a couple things you can do to help with your velocity, with your control, with your home runs per nine. But then I noticed you can actually learn a pitch. So this is how you actually learn a pitch in MLB The Show 19. You want to be at the bullpen. I guess you have to be at a certain point. And you have the opportunity to go to the bottom. You can learn a cutter, curveball, sinker, changeup, which we already have a changeup. This is a tough one. Right now, we have a fastball, we have a slider, and we have a changeup. I think a curveball is the next big thing that we need. So uh, Jesse Biddle, teach us the curveball. And with that, we have learned a brand new pitch. Now it's probably going to be trash for a little bit, but we now the fourth pitch we can use to our advantage. So Otto has been really working on his personality. And one thing we've seen is that the heart and soul has been really the heart and soul of what he's actually worked towards. So what we have, we can do the pacemaker. This pitch is thrown in two strike counts require less energy than normal or improve velocity when your team is losing. The boosted effects of the first one, the pitch is thrown with two strikes or three balls require significantly less energy than normal, which is kind of cool. And for the boosted effects here, uh, for the pulse pounder, which is the one about velocity, significantly improve velocity when your team is losing. Honestly, I feel like they don't give Otto enough runs. We can change it to Pacemaker, but I think we're going to go with Pulse Pounder for now. But you guys let me know in the comments down below. Should I keep it at Pulse Pounder or should we move it up the other one? A good question to ask. So we're kicking off this game. We are 57 and 57, which isn't as bad as the Twins. But honestly, we have to start getting much better very quickly. Or else Otto's rookie season, we'll see the postseason. On the mound for the Twins is Jake Otto Rizzi. He's uh, got 22 starts, a 7 to 10 record, and an ERA that is really bad. This, in all intents and purposes, should be a dub. So the first batter that Otto's going to face today is Byron Buxton. Batting about 240. This dude is a blazer on the base pass. Like, he's super fast. So start your outing with a strong early game and the inning without giving up a run and one strikeout. So four pitches or less to each batter and an inning with nine pitches or less. Now, we're going here. One strikeout and without giving up a run seems fairly doable and again we have a fifth pitch and i don't know where they told me to throw it so we're gonna go down and away from byron buxton okay good start i don't know how much we're gonna throw the curveball today we don't really have a lot of control on it right now and it needs a lot of help but i'm really curious what you guys think the fifth pitch for auto should be i can see a two-seamer i could see maybe a sinker i don't know what you guys ultimately think but i kind of think about a two-seamer being pretty cool and right now i just want to focus on auto getting a strike we're down two one in the count we started off strong and then he went down here when Byron Buxton got a hold of one. What a catch by the center fielder. What a play. Look at him. I mean, million dollar smile right there. What a play. I can't believe he snagged it. One more look here in the replay. He didn't catch this one. It's probably an inside the park home run. Up next is Mr. Polanco. We're going to try to jam him high and tight. And Otto's a uh, little iffy start and he's not getting the calls he probably won. Been relying heavily on that fastball. We're going to switch it up and go with circle change here. A little low, and it missed completely, but it was a strike. Circle change worked once. Why not give it a second shot here? He almost went. All right, now we're back in the same count that we were with Byron Bucks. And remember, we have to not only give up or not a run, we need a strikeout as well. Now we got two strikes on him, and we're going to try to blow one right by him here. We got the heat. Let me get it on him. No, he's going to hit that one. Third baseman's got it. Should be an easy play. Routine. Got the out. Okay, this is a big one. Eddie Rosario's up. He's got pretty solid home runs and RBIs this year. We have to get a strikeout if we want to complete the challenge, but even though he's a lefty, he is completely batting an insane number against left-handers, and we miss on the first strike again. We can lock in. We got to get a fastball here. Don't want to be down 2-0. We got one. Dog. Coach is telling him to take a lot of pitches right now, and I don't blame him the way that Otto's been pitching. So again, 1-1 one, one count. Trying to get ahead here. Need that strikeout. Ooh, we got him swinging on the bad one for sure. Okay, now we're in a good spot. We can play around with it a little bit. 1-2 count. Does not have to be a strike, but it's got to be close. You got a hold of that one, unless there's an error, which I don't want there to be. We're not going to pass the challenge, but still, we didn't give up a run. We just didn't get the strikeout either. DJ Crone is leading off the inning here. Our slider has been pretty crazy. The control on it is like not there. CJ Crone. Nope. The ground rule double. That's probably the worst effort I could have seen from our left fielder. I mean, you got to catch that one. So Otto is starting off the inning, not exactly where he wants to be. And Jonathan Shoop is up. 10 home runs, 30 RBIs. We're trying to make sure he gets no RBIs here, but killing the ball off Otto. One again here inside. Ooh, just got the strike we needed. Good frame by the catcher. Okay, this is a really good spot. This is the first time the Otto's thrown the curveball. We're going to see what it does. I'm going to be honest. We probably should have trained the curveball a little bit. So we're giving up a run. We did get three runs, which is huge. 
I didn't actually even notice that until right now. So even 3-1 cushion, but still, I don't giving up a run this early in the game is not a good sign. All right, they got another guy on, and they've got... That's Sano. Oh my god, sano has got power for days. He's only batting about 233 because he is a pretty big power hitter, which means he is prone to strike out too. All right, the first time I threw a curveball, it looked really bad. They get a hold of that one, but it's foul. We're going to slide her inside. Oh my god, they are killing the slider. Anything that we have that has movement... They're lighting it up, but finally, the first out of the ball game or the inning here, the guy on second base from Minnesota. Max Kepler up 219 average. Starting off with a low fastball against him. Here we go, a first pitch strike. We need that. The confidence has got to get high. And slider away. Ooh, that was way inside. We're missing on that completely. Okay, we've got a no two count. Like our chances to put him away here. Fastball inside. Almost hit him. We have worked our way into a two two count. This guy has fouled off. Everything. Everything we throw. We're in a 2 2 count. And uh, Kepler has fouled off everything we've thrown at him. Oh, God. Go to third base. Did we get him? Oh, just how, just how we drew it up. Just how we drew it Now, can we get the strike out here? This guy's fouled off everything. Let's punch him out. Really? Are you kidding me? I refuse to let this guy get the best of us here. We throw him so. It's probably like 15 pitches against this one guy. 16th one, the souvenir for someone in Minnesota. The good news is, um, you know, we kind of got the guy off base that would have been the two runner that would have tied it up. But the fact that the Minnesota Twins are shredding us right now, it's a different level of disappointment. And honestly, the way that we're trending is Otto could get pulled from a game early for the first time in his young career. This isn't good. He has no confidence in the fastball right now. I've never seen his fastball confidence this low, but finally, that's an important strike for him. Slider has just not hit at all tonight. That one's up the middle, off Otto's foot. He's going to try to cover first base, and they get it to him in time. Runners on first and second now. Manager's not happy with Otto. And oh, wait, is Otto injured? Hold up. Hold up. Otto, you okay? Walking off, young fella. Okay, he's fine. He's fine. I was nervous for a second. So Byron Bucks on the top of the order is back up. He's 0 for 1, but he's always dangerous. He can hit a shot in the gap, and we could be in a lot of trouble. Slider looked good in the first one. Circle change in the second one. Ooh, we got him swinging and whiffing on that. Maybe getting hit was what Otto needed to get his act together. Got an 0-2 count on Buxton. We can punch him out. Why did he swing? I'm happy. Why did you swing, young fella? Jorge Polanco's up 0 for 1 with a ground out in the first inning. We are just trying to uh, make something happen for our squad at the moment. The first pitch. Okay, Otto, where was it at the first two innings? Where was it? Sliders actually look good the last couple times we've thrown it. Start on the outside. This time it's pumped up the middle. This is going deep. Center fielder's racing. Looking like a poor man's Willie Mays out there. Eddie Rosario back up. 254. If he missed, he's 0 for 1. Yeah, he's 0 for 1 for sure. Did not get a hit his first time up. Want to make it so it's the second time he does not get a hit on this event. Confidence is starting to get back up for all of his pitches. This is big for Otto. Again, the league got cut to one. He's not used to playing with run support, so I can see why he's a little nervous. But the way this game is trending, we need a lot more runs from our team. This Minnesota Twins team is not supposed to be good either. And how is that not a strike? All right, we're going high. One outside. Hopefully Rosario swings and misses here. No dice. All right, it's 2-2 two -two now. We're throwing a lot of high fastballs, which makes me nervous, but the catch is calling for it, and now we're in a full count. So we're in a full count now. Do not want to walk anybody here. I was going to try to go for the circle change. A little too low. He doesn't quite swing. We've walked the first batter of the game. DJ Crone is up. He had the double that went over to the left field wall last time. We would like to avoid him doing anything positive. Unless it's a double play, which I'm happy for. We might be seeing it here. Always gets it over. We flip it over to first. Nice scoop by the first baseman. We're out of that inning. Honestly, that last inning is what we needed. You know, we needed something to be quick, not have any runs, not really that many hits. And we walked the guy. But other than that, it was a solid inning. I'm just noticing control is just a big factor for Otto right now. Maybe we got to work on that a little bit more. But he's struggling. He gets the benefit of the doubt there. 3-2 ball game. 1-1. One, one. And we get the second strike. 1-2 count. We're going to try and go with the curveball here again. It hasn't really worked out. Up the middle. What a snag there. Let's get it out at first base. Should be easy money. We'll take it. Look at that. The comeback are right to you. You got it. Get that man a gold glove by the end of the year. Miguel Zeno. This guy is dangerous. He's not really even their home run leader, which is surprising because, in my opinion, he has some of the best power in the team. He's six foot four, probably like 260 easy. Dude, connects is out of here. Lotto gets the first strike on him. He's a swing and a miss out to deep right field. 
Coming right back at him. Wolf. Yeah, that was good for us, bad for him. We have Miguel Sano right where we want him. One, two count. One ball, two strikes. We punch him out here. Got him. There we go. Second strike out of the game. They've been few and far between, but they've looked good when we've actually got him. Here's Max Kepler. I don't, it's, it's crazy. He started his career having these double digit strikeout games, and since then, He's been struggling. I think that's more of hitters kind of figuring him out and Otto not really improving as much because once the teams kind of saw a little bit of film on him, they figured him out so far. But in my opinion, with Otto adding in a curveball and possibly a fifth pitch, which you guys can again give me feedback on in the comments down below, I think more strikeouts are coming like that one. Pasta Dio is up now. Yeah, no, I think he had his single last time we saw him. Got a pretty high pitch count right now with the fifth inning in the game, and I want to try to make a quick inning so we can catch back up. I mean, the fifth time we throw the curveball today, we missed on the fastball. Can the curveball connect? Ooh, actually, that wasn't that wasn't bad. Asadio has got a one-one count, working him up on a high fastball, and he rips it backward. So now we're going to try to get the benefit of the doubt here. A fastball outside, not even close. Two strikes and two balls. Fastball down low. Got to be able to get him here. Four strike out of the game coming up. You can say that I was wrong, for being honest. Masadio got his second single of the game. He's got nine speed, though, so he's not really going to do much on the base pass, if we're being honest. Solid first pitch, trying to get another second one to connect. Oof, here we go. 0-2 with a 97 miles an hour. Like Otto settled in, and his fastball looks so much better than it did earlier in the game. Wow, we almost killed that man. This is a number nine hitter, so I think we backed him up off the plate a little bit. Maybe he's nervous. Maybe we can punch him out. Or maybe he's getting a single to right field. If you let Asadio go over, okay, that's the good news. Anybody else, they're getting over to third base, but Asadio, he's stuck at second. So now we're in a bad situation. Here's Otto on the mound. Are they pulling him? They're pulling him? He could get out of this jam. Let's be honest. Uh, it's a pretty rough day at the office for Otto King. So Max Fried is going to come in to relieve him five and four on the year. His ERA is through the roof. We can be honest, it wasn't Otto's best game. And even with that, Braves are going to win the ball game, but... uh. It's a frustrating game for Otto because he's not going to get the W when someone else had all his glory. Again, Max Free gets a W, three innings pitched, two strikeouts, no hits given up, and one walk. Otto, four innings pitched, seven hits, three strikeouts, two earned runs, and one walk. My opinion, it wasn't that bad of a game. He just didn't have what he needed to for the coach to feel confident in keeping him in the game, and it's unfortunate for Otto.